So we've been working on our karaoke program and can have it print out songs and choruses pretty easily. But now we want to improve our code by including a greeting at the beginning of each song. When musicians are on tour, they'll often say hello to each city or place they perform in. They'll say hello New York or hello Mexico City, and that's what we want our greeting function to do. So let's write a greeting function that can say hello to unique locations. We want to customize our code to greet each place individually by the location's name. We can start by writing a function called greeting that prints out hello and then the name of a location, like New York. But we'll want to be able to change this location to greet wherever we are. So far, we've just seen functions work using internal information, like variables or values we type in. But this time, we want to be able to give our function information from the outside world, outside of this definition. We want to give it the location of a performance and have it respond. We can input data like a location into our function by using something called parameters. Parameters are variables that we can place inside the parentheses of our function definition that our function can then use. For our custom greeting, we'll want to be able to input and use a string variable that tells us our location. To access this string, we'll need to ask for it by including it as a parameter inside these parentheses. And now we can use this variable location inside our function code. This is like when we declared a variable inside our function and could use it. The main difference is that any variables we've declared inside our functions can only be accessed and used inside that function and nowhere else. And this parameter location is referring to information that can exist outside the scope of our function. So now we can include this location string in our greeting message. And instead of saying hello New York, we can say hello plus location and use string concatenation to print out a unique message for each location. But now, when I call this function greeting, I can't just type greeting with empty parentheses. And that's because this function expects a string location as input. So in my function call, I have to put in a string, like the location New York. And this specific input is called an argument. So parameters are the variables inside our function definition, like string location. And arguments are the actual values that are passed into our function when we call it, like New York, which our function needs to work. When we call our function, our argument has to match the type of parameter we expect in our function. So in this case, New York has to be a string. Now if I put in the string New York as the argument in our function call, Java will look at our function definition and assign this value to our string location. And our function call will print out a greeting that's unique to this location, hello New York. Great, and I can repeat this code and input any other location I want. Our greeting function will accept any string input, and string location will be assigned its value. So if I call greeting and pass in the string Mexico City, the print output will be hello Mexico City. Now we can call our greeting function and pass in different string locations to it every time. This is just like we've been doing with printlin by passing it different strings each time. In our next quiz, we'll see more examples of how parameters can be useful.